Guten Abend. Good evening. We document the obstructions to the investigations in eastern Ukraine. The expression false flag is an intelligence-led political and military term that initially originates from seafaring. It designates an undercover operation, usually of a military or secret service, that is attributed to an uninvolved third party in order to cover up the identity and intentions of the actual initiator. In order not to be discovered, the actual initiator operates under a false flag, that is in the name of an uninvolved third party. In connection with the Ukrainian crisis, it has already been several weeks since a top-secret document of the Putsch government in Kiev leaked to the general public, which instructs on the implementation of a false flag operation against Russia. The chief editor of Voice from Sevastopol, who received the information, upheld the reliability of the document with his own name. What is it about? According to this document, the Putsch government in Kiev instructed his border patrol to initiate a clash with pro-Russian groups at the end of May 2014. Their weapons are supposed to be secured, which allegedly come from Russian army stocks. This simulated operation shall be filmed and then passed on to the United Nations, UN, and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE. The aim of this operation is to prevent a potential support of eastern Ukraine through Russia in order to subject the defenseless people in a timely and limited blitz maneuver. In connection with the crash of the Malaysian airplane MH17, the question arises if this is the planned false flag operation. Because, as the media report, Ukrainian troops have presently launched a large-scale military offensive in eastern Ukraine and have seized control of large expanses of the region in which the Malaysian jet had crashed. As the Swiss station SRF1 reported in the 8 o'clock news on July the 29th, the investigations of the cause for the crash are being prevented even further through those acts of war. We remind you of the purposefully faked video recordings which were supposedly taken in Russia of a missile launcher which was secretly to be taken back there by the pro-Russian population. We reported about this in the media commentary of July the 25th, 2014, 10 questions of Russia about the plane crash of MH17. After that, Russia and eastern Ukraine were blamed in the media hype. Possibly, the secretly planned false flag operation is yet to come, but it is worth it to judge all the current and future events in eastern Ukraine from the perspective of this secret government document. Form your own opinion in respect to the authenticity of the document and the connections of the events. We'll keep you updated. Following, you will find the text of the secret document of the Kiev Putsch government that leaked to the general public. Have a good evening. To the general of the Ukrainian army, N. M. Litvin. Dear Nikolai Mikhailovich, according to the result of a closed meeting of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, the task was given by the President of Ukraine to carry out an anti-terror operation in the territories of Donetsk and Lugansk and to complete it in the near future. In order to be able to accomplish this task, it is planned to send troops of the National Guard into this territory within the next two weeks. There is also an agreement with D. Yarosh to additionally send troops from the Pravi, the right wing sector, to Donetsk and Lugansk. On the other hand, the support of the separatists through Russia can hinder the accomplishment of this operation. I see it necessary to start an action in order to blame them to have delivered arms to the fighters and then to publish these facts in the West. In the telephone call with the first deputy minister of the Minister of Defense, Mr. Kobal, it was agreed upon the staging of a seizure of arms with the separatists. 
which were allegedly supplied by Russia. Koval suggested to stage coalitions between units of the National Guard with the terrorists. Consequently, arms supposedly were seized that will have specific features clarifying the belonging to the military units of the Russian army. The production of these arms, he, Koval, has already started. There is the request that you form and prepare two groups of government true co-workers of the border patrol units from Lugansk and Donetsk that will be involved here and stage a shooting with the separatists. Pictures will be taken and it will be filmed by members of the security service of Ukraine. It will be agreed on passing on this video material from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to the UN and the OSCE with the Interim Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Andriy Dechitsha, Secretary of the Council, Paru Yabi.